Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into our Let's Play of Civilization VI with Shaka. It's been a pretty spicy one so far. Thought you have a wonderful day. We are uh, we're, we're still getting a couple more builders, although we're back into like district mode a little bit here, trying to get our generals and things going. Um, and yeah, only three cities at turn seventy-two, but that's okay. That is okay. Oracle gone on seventy-two. Black Wolf, thank you for the sixteen months. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. GM is back, back again. Tell your friends. Do you guys remember? Thank you so much, man. Welcome back for 16 months. Do you remember who got Apadana? Because I really want Apadana. Um, I guess I don't because I won't get the envoys. Still would be nice. I want these. I want envoys. I want first envoys in all these places. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. Sailing. Sailing. Quadream, so that's another similar to sailing. Send trade route, and then drama and poetry. Uh, so if we do decide to come over and settle Great Barrier Reef, not only would we get a pretty reasonable city, we'd get a nice coastal city, potentially a mausoleum city. Um, that may be a thing. That may be a thing that we want to do. Plus the envoys, you know. It's only 440 for a settler. I can actually buy one next turn, and I'm pretty happy to do so. Thank you, everybody, for the hype train. 31 subs. You guys are insane. Thank you so much for helping me hit that threshold. What craziness. Absolute craziness. That's going to be your conda. I should almost make it over here because Georgia, but... Are you there yet? Really? You grew somewhere else? Where did you grow? You grew to the fish. You numpty. You silly. I think I want this to be a lumber mill. I was thinking about chopping it, but the city's lacking a little bit on productive tiles. So I don't think I want to chop that. She likes me too. Everybody's so friendly. Yeah, it's a decent Huey City, to be perfectly honest. That actually gives me enough money to buy the settler now. Lose a pop there, but not a big deal. And then we'll go settle the Great Barrier. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, no, well, actually, selling our Diplo favor uh, this early in the game is a great idea because we're not really going to be able to hold on to it later on. So normally this isn't something I like in a peaceful type game, um, although I recognize its value. I think I'd rather trade this for six gold per turn. I don't need his jade, I don't think. I'd rather have the money. Ten turns on the era. This settle alone will get us uh, really close. Three turns on defensive tactics. I can actually sneak out another builder. Um, and also we can lock in our commercial hub right here. It's plus three because it's touching two other ad adjacent districts and the river. One, two, three, four. I need two more farms. Decent watermill city here. Wow. 
Gandhi, will you hin don't, please? Although what's he spreading to me? Maybe 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 he should hindu. Jesuit eh, Jesuit's not horrible. Eventually we'll pick up some uh probably some holy sites and get some faith gen going. Wouldn't make for a bad long term belief to have there. Run five, did I miss one? One, two, three, four. Oh, five, yes. So then where can the last one go? Two charges here. Got time to do it. Let's go ahead and improve that. Wow, Pyramid's just taunting me. Taunting me, taunting me, taunting me. Want another builder here too. A couple more mines. Apprenticeship. Remember, all of these Eurekas are giving us era score. The scientific Eurekas. Nine turns, so plenty, plenty of time. Might even want to wait to settle this city. No, because I want to get those envoys off the books. I want those envoys now. Um... Well, normally the city looks pretty good from there, although there's some overlap here. Maybe I just settle like right on Great Barrier Reef, although then they don't get really a, a particularly good harbor. Could try to make it all the way up here, but we don't pick up that bananas that way. I actually think I just like this stone settle. Could theoretically do your harbor commercial hub combo, although I find that to be quite bad. Um, we could go settle all the way over here and think about mausoleum, but I don't really like the woods settles just because these are grassland tiles. And so we're going to, if we settle the stone, I get free production in the city center versus, and then get to chop these later versus getting a worse city center, a two, one city center base, uh, and be able to chop the stone, which is a more valuable chop by just a little bit. But I'd rather think, I think I'd rather settle the stone for the two, two base. That's one, two, three, four turns until we settle. So I want to make sure I'm running Diplomatic League at that time because that's going to account for a couple first-time envoys. Um, I can also Suzerain Kumasi right now, although I don't need to uh, because I don't think we're going to need the Era score. Um, so I guess the thing to look at then is when do we hit our next... Maybe we can go to Military Training... No, let's start working towards feudalism. How do I want to do this? Hmm. I think I'll switch into it now. I don't, I, well, I can actually run both of these. Just kidding. I want to run the general points. I need to secure at least a general. So then we'll put Diplomatic League here. Urban planning's fine. Conscription's fine. Um, and then we can switch it. We'll go towards military training, but not finish it until we've get we've gotten our envoys. Uh, I will look. Yeah. Remind me, River Hill. I'd be very curious about that as well, if they've changed something. They're the same yields now for woods and stone? Okay, I don't remember that happening, but I, I, I have no doubt that you guys are right. Um, Now what? Probably time to get a victor going. is a little weird. Hmm. I'm trying to find that last farm. Maybe this is it. Because I don't want to buy this. I 
believe it's one to one now versus one point two five to one before. Okay, making deer and stone godly versus with Magnus. Yes. Okay, so those those may have gotten nerfed. When did that happen? Did I? When did I miss that? Was that like the fall patch? And I just don't remember. Four turns on this. Okay, thank you. I didn't remember that. Again, looking for money, and so that means I don't have to trade with her. Uh, we'll be warring fairly soon. Uh, we are looking to get to mercenaries first. I could shut down my scouts because I know we're, we're, we're going to get a golden age here. Denounced now. Nah, we're still too early on that. I'd rather her uh, be fake friends for a little bit. You can probably provide some of that sweet, sweet cash. Yes, that is what I want. In fact, I would give you that as well. Cool. 11 gold per turn is a lot. If it's natural to kill. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, that's actually perfect timing because we're settling double, double envoys. So two here, two here. And we are good to go on our golden age. She's got crossbows. Uh, we actually went large, fluffiest. Just for fun. To do something different. Does Great Barrier Reef give campus adjacency? No, sadly. It only works for uh, holy site adjacency, right? Like, that would be a plus four holy site. I think it should, though. Yeah, Ferg. Um, hmm. Let's go with that. Will I be working the reef? Um, not until they get a granary. Probably. I want the production for now. Okay. We should sell that immediately. Oops. Run away. I don't think you had money. You did not. Maybe the Germans? Okay, so that's about five each. It's better. So for 20, you get six and two. Six and two, maybe I'll sell to him. Probably as good as it's going to get. Just noticed you got a gifted sub yesterday from Hogue. If you see this message, thank you so much. Hogue, your, your gifted subs are loved and appreciated. Do I think Civ 6 multiplayer would ever be cross-platform? Cross My gut is no, um, although I'd love to see it.
Georgia wanted more for uh let's see. No, she doesn't want it. I don't think it's cross platform as far as consoles go, it is it? Like as far as Mac to PC, sure. But uh, I don't think I can like play multiplayer with someone on the Switch or something. Yeah, low on money. It's probably because she's paying too much for Diplo favor. Why? Why? Why am I friends with everybody in this game? They know. They can. They can see it. When's Pantheon coming out? Use my crystal ball. Uh, 2022. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I hope soon. I really need to uh, contact them and see if they're... Because I know they have some like programs for content creators to get involved with. Um, and I'd like to get involved with them. Because I'm definitely going to play that game and we'll see what happens as far as streaming it. Can you sell non-tile improvement luxuries like cosmetics? Yes, sure can. Pantheon: Rise of the Fallen. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a spiritual successor to, or it's supposed to be a spiritual successor to like EverQuest, um, which is a game that I adore. My math boost. Let's go back to that. Oh no, soccer man. Sorry. So two turns on this. That's good. Trade route pillage. What? She's got barbs running around. Come on, man. Did I even establish the trading post then? I did not. That's lame. I wanted that. I want to play Project 99, but don't have time for the commitment. You know, they like ch they like did a new server starting out like and I just kind of lost interest because the whole community left. Yes, Violet. Yes, I played a lot of EverQuest when I was a kid. Like a lot. Like a lot. We have a lot of amenities, actually. We have a lot of improved luxuries. So we're doing quite fine. We have, uh, resource-wise, we're sitting on uh, amber, olives, coffee, cocoa, tobacco, and yeah, we could probably even sell some. Because we probably have too many at the moment. But that won't be that much longer. Two turns on the era. So Impy at turn 94. Four? How do I feel about that? I don't know. It's okay. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> huh. It's a lot of bananas. That. Those bonuses are bananas, I guess. Huh. It's a. Uh, yeah, caught cheating. <laughs> right, because they're they're so useful. <laughs> That's bananas. <laughs> and I thought seven hundred subs was bananas. I did. I did indeed. I still do. I still do. Uh oh. Why are my uh, 
Hockey's not working. Did I? Did we break the game? We may have broken the game. Hmm. Why can I not use my hotkeys? Okay, um, into the uh, medieval era. So Congress will start. We don't have any Diplo favor, nor do we really need it. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Hockey's return. You hit shift or alt a couple times. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, we could always we could always bop out of the game and bop back in. Hey, yeah, we're back up to three hundred viewers. Huzzah! <laughs> Thanks to all the new viewers that definitely weren't here the whole time. All right, so golden medieval. Um, I do want to get my commercial hubs down, so free inquiry kind of works here still. Uh, pen brush might just be better. I have Acondas down. I have campuses down. So again, like gets us to mercenaries a little bit faster. Uh, normally, obviously, like. A, Easy monumentality if you have any kind of faith gen, but that's not where we're at. Sort of debating between free inquiry and pen brush, and I think I'm going to go pen brush. We have decent science already um, to to hopefully stabilize and 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 catch up and do all that stuff. And I think I just want to get as close to mercenaries as quickly as possible. Um, and I want to start producing those like crazy. So pen brush. Okay, so 10 turns towards impies, and we're only 7 turns from mercenary. So yes, we want to start producing these like the craziness. Um, and we can pre-build impies, which is awesome. Maybe I'll do this. Impies are really cheap, so I don't have to be... Oh. Oh. Well, mistakes have been made. <laughs> I thinking about the impy boost with Spearman? Nah. Nah. It's too it's too awkward to go get. Usually I think you can you can prioritize an early spearman. Like I took a really weird path trying to go like campuses and then needing archery and then getting like bronze working. Normally you have got a better a bit more of a streamlined flow allowing you to potentially get spearmen and have them be useful to clear like a barb camp or something and then that's your your boost for here. But that is okay. So we are getting close. I need to, I'm not quite ready to fight her yet. She actually has base, basically no military. So I actually don't want to denounce her. I'm just going to surprise war her eventually. Um, and I think that'll be better. Oh, wait, the queen of loyalty is having loyalty problems. Wow. So remember when I was like, Congress didn't matter? I'm sad. I wish we'd have kept some of our Diplo favor. An extra five combat on our uh, impies would have been awesome. We can condemn. Condemn what? Are you Catholic? No, that's Germany, Sweden, unmet player, India, and Egypt. So she doesn't have any. So maybe India's then? Maybe just Hinduism? Yeah, that would have been sweet. Doesn't always come up, so. And we'll see if we can condemn Hinduism. I doubt it, but we'll try. Yeah, melee. That's actually terrible for us um, because these counter our anti-cav units. Uh, but hopefully it won't be too much of an issue. And then 10 extra combat strength for Catholicism, making Germany a little bit scary as far as his uh, faith race victory that he might be going for. Okay, so six turns on mercenaries. We want to start producing our units. How's our general coming along? I might need to run a couple general projects. So 
So I guess I give up the gold and we go with feudal contract that does backdate now. So applies to spearmen being built. Don't need. No, we do want charismatic leader. Although I do have two more envoys. What are we doing with them? Hold on. So do I send them an envoy given that they're going to die here? I know, right? Ten turns only. Could I also send out like a first time here and here with Diplo League. It wouldn't be bad. Although, well, hmm. Yeah, I think I like the. Uh, I think I like going a little bit wide with our envoys here. So this is where I want to be for now. And then this time we can go to Brussels. We don't have time to establish this trading post, sadly, so we don't get that combat boost either. Um, and I'm happy sending them a, because I'm not getting this anymore. Should have plenty of cities here soon. I don't think I have time to finish this. There goes Pyramids. There goes Muscat. We already have our barracks here, so we can just start with more. There's the Buddhism. I really wish my... Uh I really wish my lenses would work. Hmm. <laughs> it's really weird. Okay. Um, how many AIs, AIs in a large map? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So nine AIs. Ten total. Uh, and we have to meet the last person. My guess is Japan knows them. No, they don't. Does anyone know them? Yes. She does. Germany does. Georgia does. Cleo does. So they're probably in this area. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So I guess I do want to go explore this. So we'll try to find that last person. It's a bunch of air score for meeting him, so. It's my Windows button. Nope. Nope, didn't work. We're just close to circumnavigating, I guess. I didn't even really realize that. I could have kept going that way for it. Hmm. I don't even know if she can take Kumasi. <laughs> she just got that. So we do need to upgrade, so I can't have him go too far. Wow, they were able to clear this while fighting a war? That's impressive. You, you, yeah, protectorate wars are a thing, but look at where they are, they're at. 
uh, here. So. Oh no, protector ores are here. Yeah, but you have to be suzerain of them when they declare, I think. So if I suze them now, I don't think I get the option. And I'm also not denouncing. Absolutely. No problemo. Thanks for the questions. So, mercenaries next turn. We're almost to our impi. We have two, four, five so far. Am I putting the government plaza? I have no idea. I, I don't even really care about the promotions. Normally, I really care about that Victor promotion. But again, impi level up so quickly. I think you're actually hurting yourself by taking it. Although that thrust promotion is quite good. Being a mercenary, though. Why do you why don't you have money? Why don't you have money? Um You have no money. She don't have any money. I know. I seriously need richer friends. What is going on here? Have you not discovered horses yet? You nincompoop. Don't be skimpy with your impy. Wow. That's catchy. You still have zero dollars. All right. Found our buddy. Fifteen gold per turn. Sign me up. I wish my lenses worked. I'm so reliant on them. I could really use actually a, a bit a bit of a diversion down here to grab natural philosophy. <laughs> I really wasn't Tamorius. I wasn't cool enough for that. <laughs> Send envoy. I don't want. I'm so. I don't want. It, it's such a waste. Alt F4 enables hotkeys. Lulz. Lulz. Press love's already suzerained. I think I'm going to take Mohenjo. For now. Okay. Welcome back, Eminem. Welcome back, buddy. So, I think I want to make a few more spearmen here. Um, how many sub points to the next emote? It's it. They're they're by hundreds now, Eminem. So we're at eight hundred sub points. So the next one's nine hundred, which <laughs> is a lot. I can't believe we hit two. I can't believe we're at 800. So I think you want to start off with a couple cores. Um, generally speaking, we should be looking to upgrade single uh, single spearmen slash impies to cores for free by taking cities with it. But we need enough strength to get started here. Um, and so I think having like several, like three or four or five units as cores and then fill them in later and try to sni snipe those, the, those core upgrades as well. Um, so I think I think we actually do want to start with this. This is going to be era score as well. So we'll start with a few.
No, they're by they're by hundreds now. Not not by hundred. <laughs> I realize that's confusing. <laughs> oh it, it's Rome. Hi. Alright, so that should give us a bunch of era score here. Um I've got era score for Crater Lake. I don't remember seeing that, but sure. Got era score for our first core. Got era score for our first suzerain of Mohenjo. And we got era score for meeting everybody. Five. Perfect. Perfect. Now from here, let's try to go circumnavigate. That scout's doing some, some good work there. Okay, probably going to bring this guy to the party. He likes me too? Oh, Gandhi, do you not see? Do you not see what I'm doing here, buddy? <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. It's totally a warmonger game, I promise. Okay, slinger cores, maybe. <laughs> yeah, actually, I could. Why not? I uh, don't want to finish this. Not yet. Go to apprenticeship for a production boost. I don't have enough units quite yet. Great library. The poets have been Okie dokie, Boston with the thirty three months. Thank you so Dominate much. Domination. <laughs> Oh, gosh, that was Mace. We had double subs there. Mace, thank you so much for the 14 months. Absolutely, I will. And Boston, welcome back for 33. That was uh, confusing. Thank you, friends. Thank you Are for the you ongoing support. For Shaka and you know I am. You know I am. Nunya, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate you. 24 Cottonelle Mega Rolls delivered <laughs> by Amazon. We whipping today, boys. We whipping. <laughs> She didn't understand the subtleties of what you were trying to say. However, that's glorious. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm still considering a bidet. <laughs> so Renaissance Industrial. So we actually missed all of our relevant generals. Um, really just, a, just a, a result of the larger map. Um, so we're actually, yeah, we're not. Is it, wait, Renaissance and Industrial? Is that, is that right? Wow. Yeah. Holy cow, a bunch must have just gone. Yeah, right there. Three in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Bummer. So who are we going to have to fight with, though? Yeah, Tamar, Scary. Eh, nobody that we're going after right away. We should still be okay, I think. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, me either, Daily. What's up, TBLB? Night shifts are messing with you. Oh, I'm sorry. How's Shaka shaking up? It's shaking up kind of shockingly. If I were to be... Uh, Candid. <laughs> it's been a fun one. It's been a really fun game so far. I really like Shaka. He's good times. Good times. No, I don't want this, right? Not with her. No, I don't want to trade you anything. I also don't want to kill a unit with the Spearman and get my boost. We'll still be able to produce them fairly quickly. We have a relevant policy for it, but I'd still prefer to pre-build when I can. I've got good money at the moment, so. Uh, all right. Maybe about two more turns and we'll be ready to go to war. Something like that. 
अपने शाहे से And then we just got our... Oh, there it goes. All right, so that's fine. We're, we're down to producing them now. Uh, but we can also upgrade. We can upgrade next turn. Like I said, thrust against melee units, especially when they have extra combat strength, now seems good. Um, I kind of doubt we'll go up against a bunch of horses. Uh, but we will want some of the square bonuses here. So, But this guy, I'm going to start with thrust. Again, these first ones really need to assert our dominance and start taking cities and stuff. So... Yeah, first roll this time, no rerolls at all. It was just off and running. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so next turn we can switch into mercenaries. Uh, anything else to send out with Diplo League? No, should have switched that last time. I've lived through some all right, so let's do it. Uh, I probably can pull this off for a second as I still want this in there to produce the impies. Uh, we'll need conscription here fairly soon because we're, our army is about to get pretty expensive. Good news is we don't need any resources, so I don't need retinues. I just need um, the money one. Which is... Am I blind? There it is. <laughs> yes, the answer is I was blind. Okay, so charismatic leader. Uh, I'm blind, but we found professional army. Uh, that's good. So now we can start upgrading. Again, more era score here, but look at how cheap. 130 for core upgrades. Only 65 for regular. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and the cost of Impy, I believe the maintenance is just one. Yeah, so with conscription, they basically are free. Cool. Head up towards exploration. Definitely want to get a road going to Gandhi here, but I suppose we can go to Preslav for the extra production. So now we should have a road up through here and all the way down. So if we decide to double back and go after Gandhi next, be all right. Um, I like Pingala now. I don't think we need the Victor stuff. I thought we would. I should have just gone Pingala and skipped Victor, I think. I don't think we need him as Shaka. Celestial Navigation. Alrighty. Um, so we, we get to take a free city before having to declare war here. So we get to, we get to start um, getting some XP on these guys. Sure. Can you capture the free city with my, one of my imp impies and upgrade it? I think so, although I'm not sure. They've they've changed those free cities a couple of times. Um, but I think I can bring this guy up and upgrade him for freezies. Although we're gonna grab this in three turns, so. When you prefer to elect multiple governors versus leveling up one or two, um, it's a good question. Usually, um, usually having a smattering is is a good idea. Um, if I'm going like if you look at the Russia game, we went right for curator because Pingala early was good, right? And and we and because we were Russia, we had lots of great works early on, so that worked out well. So it's really just a situational answer. Um, if you have any incentive, like like. Upgraded Pingala, like four or five into Pingala is insanely good early. One into Magnus is good early. One into Liang is good early. One into Amani is good early. Like those first level promotions are, are quite good. Um, so usually I think I, I tend to get a little bit wide rather than tall, but. I 
I mean, all these guys have campuses, so Pingala is kind of equally good everywhere. Okay. So now we can outright get these, which is awesome. We can get some uh, horsemen cores and things like that. Uh, might just want to run a general project, although it's going to be a long time before I have Renaissance or Industrial units. So I don't know if I need to rush to this. We have four. Egypt has 5.7. So it's not a given that we'll get it, but we'll see. I think I'm ready to get that library. Seeing Eleanor losing a city is weird, right? Weird but wonderful, indeed. No, I don't really want to... I mean, okay, sure. I'll take your pearls. They're beautiful. Just like you. There is no easy way. We'll try to be a little bit greedy here and get a free core. Yeah, construction and engineering. Let's grab those. Difference between the core and the non-core. So it's one, yeah, so we should be doing that. Seems good to me. Kind of just want this uh, commercial hub. I need, I'm gonna need more money. I know our money looks okay now, uh, but that's because everyone kind of likes us and that's gonna end. She finally got him. We can liberate. With the heart. <sighs> I didn't want that. I wanted to try to greet it, but uh, I guess our attacks were too strong. What's up, Muffin? Yes, indeed. I know, I know. <laughs> Domination Caesar and Domination Zulu, where I'm friends with everybody. <laughs> We feel the same, DBLB. We're happy you're here. Forgotten bike. <laughs> you rock. Happy to support you here and on YouTube. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the three months. That is awesome. That that is a uh, that feels like a. Uh, oh, what if we liberated? What if we liberated? <laughs> and then we took it. Just for a free core. No, that's silly. That's silly. Just silly enough for me to want to do it. But not silly enough for me to actually do it. Or something. Alright. Uh, we are getting close. Our road infrastructure is a bit poor. But our impy, she's got 70 military strength. We're up to about 500. Um, so yeah. Seems good to me. Preslav deserves an envoy to be sure. I think I'm ready for Geneva though. Uh, yeah, and we should sell Diplo for sure. You're living in a pub? Oh my gosh, Muffin. What? Uh, did not this one. Yeah, I wanted to look at that later. I, I, I'm i interested in that game to, for sure. It seems interesting. I, I just haven't had a time to look at the trailer or anything. You're living above your mom's pub? I love that. <laughs> it sounds dangerous, dude. Sounds pretty dangerous.
Do you have money yet? How do you not have money? Gandhi? Gandhi has money. Perfect. Yeah, I saw that tidbit about it. Made by the guy who, who worked on Civ 4. That's really cool. That's cool. All right, you guys, we're about to declare war. I'm going to go ahead and leave this video on a pretty awesome tease uh, because we're about to get it started. Took a few videos, but we're there now, and I think our army is strong enough to melt through her, uh, and then we'll see where we go from there. A little bit awkward with Georgia in the middle here just because of the strength of her walls. We could certainly combat that with bombards and things like that, but that's not really what I'm... It's not my Shaka strats usually, uh, but it, it could work out. We'll see what happens in the next one. So if you're watching over on YouTube, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.